Hi, my name is Kojo Forex. Come on in, guys. Welcome to my home. COVID was in a subtle way to tell you the truth. One of the period where I made most of my money in my whole journey as a trader. COVID? Yes. <laughs> wow. And trust me, something huge is coming again. <laughs> again? Yes, yes. Perhaps bigger than what, what COVID did. Please welcome to Yen TV. Welcome to Yen.com.gh. My name is Nanade and today on Faces of Ghana, we have one of Ghana's greatest always doing exploit when it comes to Forex trading. Uh, we have the man Kojo Forex. Charlie, what's up? All good, all good, Nana. Charlie, Kojo Forex, why, why the name? Is that your real name? My name is Bright Kojo Onipayede. Okay. And then I decided to take Kojo and then relate it to what I do, which is Forex trading. Mm -hmm. And then make it like very snappy, mm -hmm. which is Kojo Forex, you know. And then it makes it more indigenous. Mm -hmm an african okay. in the forex market okay because if you really watch into the big space of the forex industry people that are doing what well, they are all like americans uk with all these foreign names mm. so i'm like i need some indigenous name once somebody hears it he knows that this, this person is from, from ghana oh, yes. home. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow that's that's uh, so interesting why forex why uh, that venture or I actually started trading in 2012 in my first year in university I was yes. Okay. I was in the University of Ghana Business School. I, I read accounting, okay. right? But uh, prior to that, I had also done business in my high school, which was Agri Memorial. Okay. So I'd always been like very business, business inclined, mind. yeah. <laughs> but I was so early introduced to business movies where they're always like talking about stock trading, mm -hmm. index commodity trading, and then you know they kind of portrayed that numbers mindset of those who venture, and then the lifestyle as well. They are always making a lot of money, traveling in private jets, traveling across. I'm like, how can I like be in this side of, you know, the world where I'm like a stock trader, like those kind of, I was not really focusing on Forex, okay. stocks. So I'm like, do people even trade stocks in Ghana? That led me to worry my dad to let me start um, stock exchange course at the Ghana Stock Exchange okay. in my level 100. In NPE, I did my national service there, had an extension mm -hmm. about one year right then that was it for me if you want to go deeply into my personal you know experiences after school right i was rejected in the military i like to call it rejected <laughs> for about two times you know officers well, mm -hmm. yeah i think you're talking about military briefly. Exactly. yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 you know yeah. i qualified in all Everything. aspects in all aspects we share the same story and i would have been one of the one of the finest officers that the military would have had, you know, but God God knows, knows where somebody would do better, you know. So I ended up following where where my passion already lied, which is trading. Nonetheless, even if I had qualified for the military, I would have quit one way or the other to pursue my trading. So maybe God just wanted me to start that journey mm. earlier. Let, let, let me get a bit personal with you uh, yeah. and find out. Are you a billionaire? Billionaire? Yes. Ghanaian billionaire? Yes, yeah, Ghanaian billionaire. I'm not a billionaire, but I'm a millionaire, way over a millionaire in, in Ghanaian cities. You are over. So, so if, if someone asks you what's your net worth, what, what will be the response? To that? <laughs> a little over a million. A little over a million Ghana cities. Way past million, a little over a million USD. No, like make it clear to us. <laughs> <laughs> it's sensitive. No, it's sensitive. So, so, it's sensitive. So, yeah, I know this is yes. sensitive. Yeah, but yes. let's, let's make it clear. Are we talking about Ghana cities or we are talking about USD? Both. For Ghana cities, okay. way past that. Okay. For USD, a little over a million. The young people that see me out there living their life, how can they live that, you know? It didn't ha happen overnight. You know, every, we hear it all the time. And it's not a cliche, it's reality, you know? Like, like I said, I started trading in 2012 to 2022. How many years is that? Exactly, you know, a lot of years. And then so many things I've gone through in those period, right? I've lost money, I've made money, I've lost friends, I've made friends. It's a lot. I've lost like personal relationships, people have disappointed you and so and I've learned a lot. You know, learned, relearn, unlearning, relearning again and then and then all those things. But one thing that makes much of the difference I would say is that 
you have to prioritize it, you know, in the sense that you have to know how you prioritize it, I should put it that way, in the sense that do you want it to be a side hustle? You can make it a side hustle. Like, yeah, you know how about trading, you know how to use the MetaTrader app, you know how to use all those stuff. So, like, yeah, you're doing your, your yen, you don't want to stop yen, you have passion for writing, blogging, writing stories, so you want to do it. But you still want to make some sort of money on the side, you know, your pressure is not like somebody who wants to take it as a career, like me, like myself. Do you get it? Because me, my objective is to get it to a particular like um, uh, income streams that can take care not only of me alone, but my future family. You get it? That makes much of that difference. You're not really looking at it on that limited perspective. Oh, I want to cash out, like, yeah, let me just do it. I, I see all of my income as a salary, just the way like you're seeing whatever salary you make. So, okay, this month, how much did I make? We, we like to say Forex is the most difficult way to make easy money. The most difficult way to make easy money? Yes. Why, why do you say uh -huh. that? <laughs> because, you see, with you, you, are, you, for you to make money with your organization, you need to write your stories, do interviews, go to work day in and out, you know, put in like that money. But me, I got to sit by my computers at home, crack my brains with the chart, take my positions, which is speculation, something will get on, yeah. and then make my money. Nobody really knows how much I made. If it's $10,000 or whatever it is, it's straight away in my pocket. You know, a lot of people have this perception that uh, any work or people who are uh, uh, people's uh, workforce depends on the internet. You yes. are behind your yes. PCs. Probably you are either doing fraud or something. Yeah. Would, would you consider, how do you consider yours? Because it's also the PC work. So if somebody tells you, oh, uh, because I, he doesn't go to work every day, he doesn't like go in and out he's probably a fraud guy have you come for, across all heard? yeah i have a lot for for lack of proper word i would say i see those things as a shallow minded perspective you know when i see somebody saying ah this guy is doing well he's like oh he's a fraud guy this mm -hmm. guy i hear a lot of those things people close to me friends who meet other friends say oh this guy you know and i've had people who have just drawn somewhat close to me just because they want to like see that is he really doing something legit or is doing a fraud yeah, thing, you know. Let me find out from you how COVID affected what you do or affected your business. Was <laughs> it in a positive direction or because I know uh, COVID has really laid or uh, made a lot of people yeah. lose their businesses yeah. and all that. So how did it affect you? COVID was in a subtle way to tell you the truth. One of the period where I made most of my money in my whole journey as a trader. COVID? Yes. <laughs> wow. Now you might want to ask how, <laughs> wow, why, you know? Because as a trader, you have no personal attachment to whatever is going on on the market. Now let me also give you this intro that the world really want, runs on the financial market. Okay. That's very deep mm -hmm. to some extent. Yeah. In the sense that anything that is going to happen macroeconomic wise, globally, mm -hmm. it happens on the market first. That's something people don't know. Okay. And that's the reality. I'm not saying this for the hype of my business or whatever it is. <clears throat> I'm talking from a like a legit perspective, you know. Why do I why do I say this? Anybody that really followed me closely in 2020, right? Mm -hmm. I always posted out on social media and all my platforms that look, something huge is coming to happen in the world. And then I cannot tell what it is, but I know that it is coming. And when it comes, it's going to affect our, our life, perhaps forever, you know. If you have the time, I can show you some of those screenshots, <clears throat> you know. And then when, when that happens, it's going to obviously affect how the world operates. Mm -hmm. So if you're a trader, position yourself well for a lot of money to be made. If, you don't, if you're not a trader, to, then I don't know how you plan on surviving. Now you might wonder, how did I know that something huge? Yeah. Because it all was really clear on the charts you know it takes a lot of skills and to a lot of knowledge that. to understand that, to reach there mm. you know we have so many traders around the world but not everybody not be able to, to get it yes to get to that point to understand that mm, the, the moment you're looking at this it means that and trust me something huge is coming again <laughs> again <laughs> yes yes perhaps bigger than what what covid did you know i cannot tell when 
that's the skills okay if you can tell when you can profit insane from it but you can't tell when yes but, but i know that coming. yes coming again something yeah, coming this is again prophecy. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah, prophecy yeah. because yeah if, i think that just like you are mentioning mm -hmm. if you could read the charts mm -hmm. read what is happening mm -hmm. on there mm -hmm. and and say that some some mm -hmm. time back and mm -hmm. then COVID is mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. and a lot of people are losing their business mm -hmm. and you can say again that something bigger it's is coming. coming again yes it's coming again. <laughs> be like, we were <laughs> something huge is something huge is coming again. I cannot tell when. Sometimes when it gets close to the mark, mm -hmm. then I can tell that mm, within the next two weeks, three. Look, when BTC rose to yeah. whatever it is now, I told my people as well that look in the next quarter, BTC is going to rally to whatever. And I tell my people that are Bitcoin investors, mm -hmm. they are not traders. Okay. You remember that we made a difference between, between traders and investors. Yeah. Yes. They, yeah. they hold the Bitcoin. Okay. Me, I trade Bitcoin. Okay. I don't care whether it's going to go to 10,000 or 2 million. <laughs> I just have to buy in the trend and then sell off when I think it's coming down. So I have like really well grounded people who are Bitcoin, you know, invested. You know, I told them, look, if you have some Bitcoin, hold it. Or if you want to, you know, um, invest increase your, your your asset and management do more we need to catch up some way somehow you know people only hear about you know forex and then they don't even know where to begin from how to start from it you know it takes nothing away from me to teach you how to trade because like it's not going to affect me in any way you know at the end of the day you are going to sit by your screens and then do the decisions for yourself and how however you succeed or not comes back to you I am just going to be like putting you okay. on and it doesn't take money away from me also teaching you because at the end of the day I have to come back to my screens and then speculate. Now, so let's get back to the event we are mm -hmm. talking about mm -hmm. uh, at its free. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. what, 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 what is the criteria to get the people or to, for somebody to participate? Uh, any any uh, further information that you want to share with us? You see, because of how enormous we wanted it to be, or big we wanted it to be, we, we vouched for the UPSA auditorium. It's one of the biggest auditoriums in this in this country. Okay. You know, so it's open for anybody, but you have to register through the registration link, which is all over on social media. And then one of the easiest places to get hold of that link is on my Instagram bio. You know, once but we shared it all around, and there's promotions all around. Flyers, fl flyers being shared around. You know, once you register, it, you come into our books to know how to prepare for the people that are coming as well in terms of the number. Okay. You know, but it's a free program. You know. Yeah. I think I, I saw the flyer and I saw some ten thousand dollars giveaway or yeah. something. Uh, how is that going to be? <laughs> like <laughs> the distribution so that I can take my share now. Yeah. And <laughs> so so the incentive for that is to motivate people who are going to come to learn to even get some sort of a capital to trade you know so we went into deliberation on how do we give the do we ask some very complicated questions Precious. during the seminar i'm like mm, that is not like you know um direct enough you know because obviously some people have more experience than some and they may just throw it out and then it's, it's going to be quite difficult to just pick out out of over thousands of people there that you come and answer this question with. So we, de we devise a means that, okay, then one of the easiest um, 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 capital requirement for a trader is about $50. You can fund your, anybody can fund the account with $50. Okay. You get what I mean? If you can't fund your account with $50, you might probably, you are probably not just like ready to trade yet, you know? So once you fund your account with $50 with the partners, with the broker partners that we are working with, right? Then you're going to be put, it's going to be like a draw. You get a random draw. Anybody that funds the account, they send us the details. We put out those details in a big bowl or something. Okay, like a raffle. Raffle kind of. kind of a thing, you know. We pick out lucky winners. Then you just win that money. And then we, we are hoping that it's 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 an incentive towards you getting a funded trading account from is it, the is it is it that an the individual No no it's a pool of fund gonna be shared, shared among, among yes. okay. Yeah, okay. pool of fund gonna be shared among like a lot of a lot of people so not like one person taking the ten thousand okay oh, but okay. it's quite um, but well, you can tell you can share ten thousand ten thousand <laughs> <laughs> what, what i was saying is that like mpa gave me um one year extension after my national service and then went into the real world which is the military it didn't work out and i had to come and face like the real tough world of yeah. picking up the entrepreneurship but that thing that always oh, probably i reflected now and i realized that like 
one thing that really kept me going is that what is there to lose when you're already losing <laughs> that makes more sense yeah. what is there to lose when you're already losing in the sense that like if you're unemployed quote unquote like you're already losing mm -hmm. if you learn how to trade and you don't succeed it's the same, it's the same thing <laughs> if you succeed <laughs> you're good, you go. good to go so that really was that thing that kept me going in the mm -hmm. sense that i knew that whether i keep up with this or i don't keep up with it like I'm already losing. So what is there to lose? There's nothing to lose at the end of the day. Here you are yeah. today telling that such yeah. a story. Well, you know. I think uh, uh, Ghana, just like I mentioned, we, we are some uh, youth out there are super proud of you because they see you to be more or less like a, a mentor to yeah. them. They, yeah. they, they want to be like uh, you. They want to do what you're doing and all yeah. that. So uh, we are very grateful for having us. Thanks for having us. Well. We are so grateful. <laughs>